This video is about neuron structure. The nervous system has two major divisions. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is composed of nerves carrying sensory messages to the central nervous system and motor commands from the central nervous system. Peripheral nerves are seen as branches off of the central nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is further subdivided into the autonomic nervous system and the somatic nervous system. These will be discussed in other videos in this series. The neuron is the basic type of nerve cell. It is specialized in the conduction of electrochemical impulses over substantial distances. All neurons have three parts, the cell body, the dendrites, and the axon. Dendrites are branches off of the cell body. They receive impulses from other neurons, or in the case of sensory neurons, they receive stimuli. The more dendrites, the greater the number of connections that are possible with neighboring cells. Though it appears that we are born with all the neurons we will ever have in our brains, those same neurons can grow new dendrites and form more connections with neighboring cells. When we learn in a meaningful way, our brains actually change physically as our neurons grow new dendrites. Dendrites can be over a meter long. In the peripheral nervous system, this means that the axons may be some distance from the cell body, so Schwann cells provide materials to the axon. They also increase the speed of the impulse due to the myelin sheath, which insulates and prevents loss of ions. Myelin in the Schwann cells makes peripheral nerves appear white. Neurons in the central nervous system have no myelin sheath and are therefore gray in color. Gaps between Schwann cells are called nodes of Ranvier. Electrical impulses jump between them. This results in a faster impulse. An axon conducts nerve impulses away from the cell body toward other neurons and ends at the axon terminals. Nerves are composed of many neurons bundled together. In the next video we'll look at the different types of neurons and how neurons associate with each other.